Hello everyone, it's Malfarmer6710. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to day 22 on the big 132 Malfarm diorama display. It's very busy today um, with straw baling going on and second cut starting and the contractors um, harvesting one of their big fields. So lots of going on, so look forward to that and uh, we'll get into it. Kicking it off here at John's farm. We have a good bit of action going on as you can see. But starting it over here, near the hill field, we've uh, some local contractors to the areas, uh, to the area, uh, they're with their 7930 and Strutman wagon, they're coming back from a second cut job, and it was a very, very uh, good crop, so that's after coming back from a good day's work. The hill field is nearly ready for a uh, second cut, still needs a bit of growth though. We have a Land Rover Defender going down the road. And we have uh, John's friends in the 6 ore, one, uh, the 125 ore, and um, they're unloading a tar up silage uh, single chop. And uh, yeah, he had it up for sale, and John got first preference. And John's going to test it out for maybe uh, this second cut. And if he enjoys it, he'll uh, he'll use it. Everything else is just uh, parked up. Nothing really going on in the farm. But the young stock there, they're at the farm three weeks now, and they're loving it. Um, little baby cows run wild in the field, they're absolutely loving it. Then we have John's dad uh, in the New Holland uh, combine, and John himself with the header trailer. He, they're going in to cut this winter barley, a very good crop on it, and they should get plenty of bales off it. Um, and yeah. We've got Larry in the Fend 818 uh, with a 2620 on the back. Um, John bought this off, the, uh, he seen it on the local farmer's journal and he just said, oh, it was very nice, it got restored, everything was done on it, the paint job's lovely. And he just said it'd be a lovely third tractor as he kind of needed one. Um, he didn't have a small yoke, but although it's... Um, two-wheel drive it's still an animal for yoke it's very big and it'll do any of the job so Larry just collected that from a uh, with the low loader and fent over here we have the big tillage farmers in the t8 and the auger wagon they're doing a bit of they're coming back from a big field you could imagine they've massive fields outside the area then we got the the local small little contractor he does it for fun he's in his international 745s with a Massey Ferguson small square baler and they're just making small straw bales for um, John. We have Kevin and a local um, local man to the parish is just helping out stacking them and they'll put them onto the trailer and bring them in but yeah a lovely setup there with the international Massey Harris baler, the Massey Harris Ferguson. Then we have the council up here unloading the septic tank in the church. It's the fourth or fifth time this week, so there must be something going on, but we'll have to see what's happening. But from over around this area, that's pretty much it. So here in the New Holland dealership, there is a new venture into the different side of a business here at the dealership um, this week. They've decided to invest in a few lawnmowers and they're going to sell them. Um, so they have two off the market new lawnmowers here today and uh, they're currently for sale so hopefully there'll be a few customers for them um there's also a new holland tm155 and uh, 140 in the last week's video uh the one of the customers are coming in to have a look at this uh subsider here and he fancied it and he came around this week to uh collect it he uh, had a chance there so he said he'd uh, call in there and very nice setup I must say and he has a very nice clean new Holland TM 140 there's also a new Yanmar three and a half tone digger in there as well and everything else is about the same one of the mechanics has an early day off and um, he has the he said he, um, he'd buy this Ferguson 20 here and um, he said he'd restore it over the winter months to keep him busy in the evening so um, he just got it for a, a good enough price and he's just going off there back to his yard with his van and his low loader. 
There's also a John Deere 3050, a very nice newly restored one with a converting mower or topper on the back and uh, that's going off the top of a few fields. So here in PJ's yard, there's not a whole lot happening but there's a quite a new machine in the yard here. It's not PJ's but um, this farmer that has land up the forest, he was doing a bit of work there over the over the weekend he's just reseeding a bit of reseeding a bit of ground and he's just collecting a few stones in the bucket of the loader of the fence there it's a fence 415 and it's a lovely yoke he needs to power wash it after he collects this tractor but um yeah it's a lovely tractor we have to say and uh, mick mick took it, i mean um pj took it for a drive there and he very really likes the likes the very old transmission a lot all the rest of his machines are parked up his internationals county and his jcb so all a bit quiet here today but it's not so quiet that the contractors have they're currently mowing second cut here this morning and um have the 8870 all all on the go here the Deitch triple mowers and it's uh, going as sweet as a nut so it is um, all going well for him and uh, to start into this big 25 acre block and i uh, hope he'll be harvesting it next episode So here beside the contractor's yard going by, there's um, their, their McCormick MTX 175 just going out for a delivery load of straw there to a local beef farmer there and uh, just delivering a few bales, I think 20 or so bales there. Um, but yeah, going well for the McCormick and their find the McCormick a lovely tractor so it is. But going in here into the contractor's yard, a lot of machinery is all packed up here this morning but we'll be out all during the day. Um, first load of barley coming in the shed here and uh, there's fast track 4220 just tipping it up there with the cane half pipe I mean the cane grain trader and um, the man one of the workers is just testing the grain for moisture so uh, they're gonna store it over winter and sell it during the in January time when the price has gone up a bit more uh, Matthew Ferguson 8280 is coming back there from an early morning bit of bailing there with the big bailer 1290 and uh, it had a small little breakdown but they got it fixed uh, quick enough as they were one tractor short they decided to call in column there with his international 1455 do a bit of raking there for second cut one of their uh, first jobs there one of the one of the newly first second cut jobs there so he is going off there to rake a field. The 7500 John Deere silage harvester is at the ready and that'll be going shortly as well. And then the JHP 419S is just um, starting, he's just waiting for the machinery to clear out so he can push up the grain. So here in the big uh, cornfield here, they're doing a bit of harvesting now. They had a bit of a, um, a, a bit of a problem with the with the case combine. Uh, there's a, they didn't really like it as much as the New Holland combine, so they decided to get back to the New Holland combine and it cuts the corn a lot quicker as it's a it's a rotary combine, so it is, and um, it's a good goer. It's a CR 1990 and it has about a 30 foot head on it, so definitely able to cover at least 100 acres within a day so uh, the T7225 is just um, offloading the trailer offloading on the side there and definitely a nice New Holland photo so it is New Holland combine and New Holland tractor and um, the the crop is yielding about four and a half ton to the to the acre so quite a hefty crop so it is and fair play um, all the spraying and fertilizing was paid off throughout the year at the back of the Tillage field. Um, one of John's sons, he's uh, stacking a bit of hay there with the 7430 John Deere, and um, he's just stacking a few bales there of hay that they made last week. And uh, yeah, got a few bales off it, not a, a massive crop, but it, um, it'll do them anyway for the winter. So here in Grain Coat, there's another load of 
Barry coming into the store here. Um, this is John's feed and trailer. Just tipping a load there. Um, bit of barley with newly refurbished grain trailer there. And uh, JCB just waiting to push up the grain. So that'll be going off to the mill in the morning. So yeah, it's all going gra grain coat. So uh, here beside Gravel Co. There's a 47810 with the NC sweep sweeper just sweeping the keeping the roads all clean here today. Doing a good job and yeah, uh, there's a good bit of traffic on these roads as it's between the the quarry traffic and the 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 grain trailers and all coming in and out. There's plenty of uh, uh, mess on the road, so good to keep roads tidy. Not much has changed there in the quarry's yard, but. There's this fast track hooking onto a um, water tanker there, just to uh, water off the roads on a few building sites there. A um, few dumpers parked up, the Deucen and the Volvo A25 is parked up. So that's about it all parked up there. And there's also the Mercedes Actrosses as well. So here coming up the Quarry Road, there's a very nice 40 i 15 owned by Colum and uh, his his brother's just driving it there for him and he's just running up the hill there with a full load of gravel to go in for his new driveway. So fair play to him. And then he in the quarry's pit there's a few dumpers getting loaded up there to go down to the crusher. Um, so they be getting bagged up for sand and going to building sites. And the 80 ton deuce is parked up there to finish for the day. But everything else is all go. So I hope you enjoyed today's video guys, please like, comment and subscribe and we hope you enjoyed this video, very exciting video there today with combining hay going on as well and all sorts of jobs going on. Hope you like John's new tractor, the Matthew Ferguson 2620, uh, hopefully it'll go well for him, it's a first uh, different tractor anyway compared to what else, all the rest of you've seen but they'll be doing a lot of the jobs on the farm. But that's about it here for today's video. Please like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.